I'm a radiation oncologist that has a particular interest in diseases associated with smoking, particularly head, and neck, and lung cancer, uh, but also general cancer uh, overall. The grant that I received was a Young Investigator Award, and the research had to deal with the effects of nicotine on therapeutic response to chemotherapy and radiation. And I was very, very enthusiastic about receiving uh, this award while at the University of Kentucky. It didn't make any difference that I was from an institution that maybe wasn't associated with as much funding in the past. I was interested in trying to find if we could have a better approach to treating patients with lung cancer and trying to alleviate and minimize some of the toxicity associated with treatment. And the important point is, uh, in most cases, if a person uses tobacco or nicotine, uh, they have days, months, years to be able to discontinue their use. But if you have cancer, you don't have that amount of time. You really have to decide what you're going to do right away. Uh, significant evidence in the literature suggested that nicotine may actually impair the effects of chemotherapy and radiation. Uh, this was one of the seminal studies that demonstrated uh, in preclinical systems that nicotine significantly decreased the effects of chemotherapy and radiation. We've actually done quite a bit to try and promote this uh, much further. Uh, we've looked in several uh, cancer treatment populations at the effects of tobacco uh, on therapeutic outcome, demonstrating that tobacco has adverse effects on therapeutic outcome. I'm very appreciative of the support that I've received. Uh, if I had not had that, it would be very difficult to be in the position I am right now. This will uh, enable me to pursue something that I am very enthusiastic about and I believe has a significant impact on a very broad spectrum of patients uh, during cancer treatment.